In this video, we will discuss survey figures. If you would like to follow along with this video, please open the file 0406 surveyfigures.dwg located in the training folder as discussed in the Working with this dataset video. There are methods that a surveyor can use to automate line work creation, such as edge of pavement, a tree line, top back a curb, etc. When the survey data is brought into Civil 3D, survey figures are the line work objects that are brought into, stored, and managed in the survey database. Once in the survey database, you can insert those figures into any drawing from the survey database. Figure prefixes are the means by which line work is connected to the appropriate figure style and layer, as well as whether or not the figure should be a break line for a surface or a parcel segment. Although figure prefixes are very similar to description keys, figure prefixes are not stored in the drawing, but rather in a figure prefix database. The figure prefix database has an extension of .fdb. The location of your figure prefixes are stored in the Survey tab of the toolspace in the Figure Prefix Database collection. To change the location of where Civil 3D finds your figure prefix databases, you change this in the Survey User Settings. In the Survey User Settings dialog box, there is a category called Figure Defaults, and right here is where you define that path. For the course, the path to the figure prefix databases must be C colon Civil 3D Projects, Learning AutoCAD Civil 3D Infinite Skills, the survey folder. Before you change this for this course, make sure you make note of the path that is currently there so you can change it back to that location after you finish the course, as this is probably the location where your company's standard figure prefixes are located. Let's look at some of the interaction that you can do with figures in the drawing. Let's open up the Proj1 survey database that we created in the import events video. And in the figures collection, these are all the figures that were generated because of the line work code sets and the combination of the figure prefixes defined in the figure prefix database. Note how the automation occurs and the break line toggle is applied or the lot line toggle is applied depending on what the figure prefix told Civil 3D to do with those figures when they were encountered in the point file. To insert these into the drawing, there are two ways. You can either drag by selecting it and dragging it like so, you can also right click on any of the collection methods. In fact, when dealing with anything in the survey tool space, or for that matter, anything in the tool space, just right click in there and you'll have access to all the functionalities depending on where you right click. Let's go ahead and zoom in to our figures and notice the automation that is occurring. As you hover your mouse over these, you'll see that these are different figure types like top of slope, bottom of slope, edge of pavement, etc. Notice all the custom line types that appear. This is because of the figure styles defined in the Settings tab, Survey Category, Figures, and then Figure Styles. So these are all the figure styles that are being used. Also note, in the drawing, we have one of these here that is actually a parcel because it was told to be a parcel upon insertion into the drawing, defined right here. You can select objects in the Figures collection and they will highlight in the drawing. The Figure Collection is one of the only locations where this actually occurs when you select something in the tool space and it highlights in the drawing. This can get quite cumbersome, so to unselect or make the highlight go away, simply hold the control key down and select the object again and it will go away. You can also navigate away from the survey tool space and it will also unhighlight in the drawing. As far as figures go, once they are in the drawing, you cannot move them. I just started the move command or copy them. In other words, none of the manipulate tools will work because they are coming from the survey database. You can, however, change the vertices if you need to, and we will go over that in this video. Let's go ahead and bring in the points as well because I happen to have a problem with this survey. I'm gonna zoom into this location, and as I'm checking my survey, there are a few driveway paved points and a figure was not created. So that tells me one thing. There is no figure prefix for the code for driveway paved. If I select my code and go to the properties palette, I'll notice that the driveway paved raw description is DRP1. So I need to define a figure prefix for DRP. So in the survey tab, figure prefix databases category, I'll right click on infinite skills and go to manage. Now I already happen to have a DRG, which is driveway gravel. And so I'm gonna actually copy that one by selecting it and choosing the copy figure prefix. 
I'll click in here to edit the actual code that is used and this is DRP you do not need the number the number is basically just there to make multiple figures based on that figure prefix the layer is fine however let's go ahead and change the style to DRP click OK we now have that figure prefix defined in our figure prefix database however it doesn't happen automatically so what you need to do is go back to the import event where the points came from simply right click on it and select process line work from the shortcut menu make sure you have the right figure prefix database line work code set import order and insert the objects that you want to toggled on click OK and just like that you'll notice that the figures are updated automatically however as I hover over these I notice that there's a few things going on here I do not have any closure between here or between here so I want to edit both these figures and make one out of it I will select the figure notice how the contextual tab appears I need to first insert a PI so I'm going to select the edit geometry option and I'll select the insert PI tool now this actually does not matter if I snap right now to this point so I'm going to go ahead and just pick anywhere in space it tells me that's the default elevation based on the interpolation of these two points I will just hit enter hit enter again and then escape to exit the command and now all I have to do is simply pick this here and because I have node snap turned on I can simply snap to this points node and it'll go right to the actual elevation because a figure is always a 3D object. Pick here, node snap, pick. Just like that, I have inserted a PI and closed that part of the driveway. I now need to close this whole figure here or join them. In the Edit Geometry panel, there is a Join tool. It knows I had that one selected and it's prompting me to select other objects to join that figure too. I'll go ahead and pick this one here press enter that is now one object so now what I want to do is I want to update my survey database with this figure so I can right click in space with that figure selected and there are a few options available make note of these options I want to choose the update survey data from drawing note that if I select this one here it will actually override any of the settings that I've done so far I'll select this tool and that figure will now be updated in the survey database so what I need to do though is I need to actually select this because I still have two figures in the database so I need to select this right click and browse to survey data this will open this figure into the panorama window all right now this is DRP2 so I'm going to go back into my figures collection and I'm going to scroll down here and there's DRP2 and there's DRP1 so I want to delete DRP1 first because I don't need that one anymore and make sure you click save in the tool space to update the survey database so in my drawing I'm stuck with just the figure that I need DRP2 there's still a problem I still need to actually close this out here so I'm gonna go ahead and look to the panorama window because I see that it's actually still there I can right click on this and go to properties notice that there's an option to toggle on closed so I will click on yes click apply that figure is now closed and just like that I've made some minor edits and added some figure prefixes to the survey database and then in turn to the file note however that if I were to re-import this file it would actually mess up the current survey database as the changes I've just made are not in the file that was imported some solutions to that problem are to right click on the figures and export a fieldbook file which you would then have as a totally separate file that you could then re-import if you wanted to this concludes this video on survey figures